This Week in Memes. The Amazon rainforest is on fire as we speak, and Reddit seems to think they're the only ones who have noticed. Spider-Man is being removed from the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and nobody could be more sad than Tony Stark himself. And finally, Popeyes reveals that they're now doing a chicken sandwich. Really? We're putting that up with the Amazon being on fire? Okay. That's right, you heard it here first. Popeyes has come out with a chicken sandwich. Except wait, no, you probably didn't hear about it here first. You probably already saw the fact that Twitter is raving about this thing. They're like Squidward when he broke into the Krabby Patty vault. Squidward, you can't eat all those new Popeyes chicken sandwiches. What's gonna happen? Am I gonna blow up? Actually, Squidward, that's exactly what happens. You get this hyped about a sandwich, you blow up. Twitter's been trending about this new Popeye's chicken sandwich for days now, and nobody can figure out why. Is it really that good? Quite a few times. 50 times? More. 100 times? More. 200 times? More. 500 times? Probably. Or is it just an excuse to stop buying chicken sandwiches from a corporation we already knew was kind of homophobic, but we put up with because, hey, their customer service was pretty good. As you all know, today's internet culture is a cancel culture. A culture where we praise things up to the point where the only thing left to do is tear them back down. And that's what we did with Chick-fil-A. In this scenario, Popeyes is Tati Westbrook and Chick-fil-A is James Charles. Before James Charles uploaded his video, then Popeyes becomes James Charles and Chick-fil-A becomes Tati Westbrook. And KFC's like Jeffrey Star just sort of Maybe it's in it. Maybe I, I'm not. Oh man, that's a that worked way better than I thought it would. No big deal. Like sucking Popeye's chicken sandwich. Oh my god, time and place. And you did it at my birthday dinner. It's not like Popeye's is perfect. Okay, as many memes as there are about us tolerating Chick Fil A's homophobia because their customer service is so good, there are an equal number of memes making fun of just how good Popeye's chicken must be for us to put up with their absolutely horrendous customer service. Fries. God damn, spicy them all! Spicy. Here, damn, go on. Shit, this is not even my order. Is it, it don't matter, get out of here! We don't have no more sauce! Shit! It's right there though. It's not for you! Get your bitch ass up out I'm not playing! After visiting three separate Popeyes locations and being told that they were sold out of the thing, I was unable to get myself one of these Popeyes chicken sandwiches. I don't know if they existed to begin with, if I'm being honest. But this ain't a mukbang. You came here for extremely high quality journalism, though it's episode one, so I don't know why your expectations are so high. I was able to secure a phone interview with the president of Popeyes, and I asked him what he thinks about people who don't like the new Popeyes chicken sandwich. Here was his response. Fuck them! Fuck him up against the wall! Where hands come from, the crazy through all the lips! That's all you do! Mm. In other memes, it seems as though Spider-Man will no longer exist in the MCU, that's Marvel Cinematic Universe. No, I didn't need to Google what MCU stood for. You needed to Google what MCU stood for, shut up. Immediately after the news broke, Reddit took to the memes and in classic Reddit fashion, decided to immediately begin bashing Sony for what was clearly a decision that they made clearly over money. I can't believe Sony took away my favorite superhero from my movie with like 50 different superheroes. Those greedy Japanese fools, they're gonna get what's coming to them. You guys ready for Nagasaki number? Naturally, just like half of all the things that Reddit gets up in arms about, the story wasn't complete. New information came out and now everybody looks like an asshole. But hey, at least the memes are easy to transition. This one here presents exactly what it seems happened between Disney and Sony. Wait a second, you're telling me that Disney, Disney, the company that owns like every other company, got a little bit too greedy with how much money they wanted out of this movie? Unbelievable. The memes have been all over the place. Some of them have touched on the fact that this means Tony Stark died for no reason if Spider-Man's not gonna be any future movies. Some of them have been talking about the fact that Tom Holland's now probably out of work. That's not true, he's got two more movies in the pipeline. Some of them have been talking about the fact that Tobey Maguire Spider-Man's now the only one who's gonna have a third movie in a series, so. It's pizza time? What's that? You want another exclusive phone interview? Here you go. With your show, and um, well, good luck to you awesome. too. And I'm so excited about Sharknado, and I hope you stay married. 
and I hope, I hope that you stay married too. Nice I, I will, and I hope your knees get a little wobblier than they already are. So I think my knees. Day. Oh yeah, I hope your tits get even nicer. It's amazing. Now, of course, we couldn't end the show without talking about something incredibly important. The Amazon rainforest is on fire, and we all need.